Ilonge Emma in the middle of that. Starting that move, making sure that he recycles the ball, going out wide to Mbandra. Look at that cross. Power. When defenders just really don't have their line. That's what happens. Can't afford to give that little bit of space or commit those kind of mistakes in front of a Dion who's always lurking in front of goal. So Nani lays it off for Theron. He's trying to put a lot of pace on that. Both Van Roy and Matisse were waiting. There's Clonani again, receiving from Theron. Van Roy's done well. He's barged over Abu Bakr Mubara. Where winless in all cases in derbies uh, since April of last year since a win over Marisburg United they've been involved in 12 cents oh. stinging effort Coyote equal to it and a big Nigerian stop yeah Xtian just picking that ball up in the pockets of spaces beating Nduadwe leashing a powerful shot just not enough to trouble the goalkeeper Perhaps a little more central than I originally thought. So it gets a glove on it. Just uh, sit back for Skakane has done well. Look at Skakane. Hendrik Ekstein. And Skakane has continued on. But who got the last touch there? It's Eddie Dion. He's doubled up again. There was a fear for a moment, Amanda, that um, Skakane, who was heavily involved in this move, might have got in the way of the striker just at the crucial moment. Yeah, I think uh, a great tactical genius of work to see as Kakana joining in the attack, that defense splitting pass for me, Hendrik Ekstien, the weight of the pass, the accuracy, and of course Dion just making sure that one is comfortably converted with that beautiful chip mm. over the goalkeeper, a little bit of finesse. How about that? Mazulu have it after that horrible scuffed effort on the edge of the area. Clever. Bandra. Not that cross. Gets back really well. Doesn't really commit. Just allows to buy himself time to get back into a crucial position. Make himself useful once again. The story of Amazulu's success uh, in this opening period has been a lot of one-touch play. Yep. It works so much more. Sabir, aided by Brad Cross. Skakani gets it away. And the run! Oh, Veli Motwa! Oh, he's almost cost Amazulu. Every now and again, spectacularly calamitous. Oh, but what a great strike there from Theron. Mm. And to his defense, maybe those are a little bit awkward to deal with. Those that just really bounce right in front of the goalkeeper. But we spoke about yeah. the concentration and that complacency. It did zip off the turf, but mm. possibly looked the ball to Fodlani. His delivery into the area is good. And Van Roy trying to perhaps find Ndwandre with his head. Now Theron will cross. And Brad crosses there. Mm. Just got away from him. That position that any flick or touch would land on him just on that blind side. Wade Eusta could have been caught snapping. Really good cross from Theron. It's actually helped along by uh, Willemsen and Dwandre. Oh, it's carried the ball. Considerable distance here. And the man who provided the assist for Junior Dio on second is trying to find him again. And he has Hanamur, wants to buy him a bit of time to cover that much ground. But as soon as it takes a little bit longer holding that ball, Golden Arrows get numbers back and it becomes a little bit difficult to thread it through for Dion. Franciani making sure he kicks it out for a corner. Hard radius, so. On the taker. Oh, 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 oh. delivery. Oh, well met. It's a hat trick for Junior Dion. And Amazulu are flying. First half hat trick for the.
We'll talk us through this one, Amanda. How does he have so much space? Why is his closest marker his own teammate? Yeah, Golden Arrows just caught their ball watching. Two players going for one balls. Kakane once again creeping in alongside Dion. But of course, it's that striker's instinct, that goal poaching mentality from Dion, getting himself a hat trick. Junior Dion, just just tonight alone, has become jointly the second top scorer for Amazulu against Arrows. And again, they have to try and claw themselves back into this game offside against Van Roy. No chance, no, no offsides, not even when the ball is just about to be. Anamo, nice pass for Extin. There's Mobada looking adventurous. Oh, lovely ball in from Mabubaga Mobada. It would have been a, a difficult one to, with the player closing him down. I think he was really trying to let it go through. Oh, he was trying to actually get a touch. I thought it would have been brilliant had that ball gone through. Maybe just left it for a Dion, who was just right behind him. Clearly, he just thought, why not fancy his chances? But Cross does really well to make it a little bit different. Oh, Dion! Oh, oh. Yeah, no power on that and lack the accuracy. Yep. It's quite mind-boggling that um, with the tall figures that uh, Golden Arrows have in Shitolo as well as Manchiane, they seem to be struggling to deal with those crosses of which short players like Dion seem to be getting to the end of those crosses. They could be punished. Five attempts apiece. It just paints a picture of how much more accurate Amazulu be now. Oh, should have kept it alive. Nguse, straight down the throat of Billy Mortua after a horrible mistake at the back. And you were just reminding us that sometimes Veli does have these mishaps, but of course we spoke about complacency, we spoke about doing the right thing, staying in the game as concentrated as possible. Amazon could have been punished. He can't afford to play a pass like that when they are... Oh, 